In the previous lesson, I had briefly introduced you to the lifecycle methods of React components. We had already examined the lifecycle methods that are invoked when the component gets mounted. So when uh, we were looking at the React application example in the previous lesson, the component was just getting mounted at that point. Now we have two components, the menu component and the dish detail component. And you see that when you click on any of the menu items, the dish detail component gets uh, re-rendered with the new details of the selected dish. So in this case, periodically, the dish detail components view needs to be updated whenever a new menu item is clicked. So that means that the dish detail component will undergo an updating stage. So let's look at the lifecycle methods that are uh, invoked when a component gets updated. So again, reminding you that the lifecycle methods are invoked at the point of mounting of a component, the updating of a component, and unmounting of a component. When a component is being updated, there are several lifecycle methods associated with this process. So these lifecycle methods are called when a component is being re-rendered or being updated. Now, this could be caused either because the props that are supplied to the component changed or the internal state of the component changed. So whatever be the reason, the component is re-rendered. And at that point, we have access to several lifecycle method hooks that are invoked. Now, the get derived state from props and render we have already seen associated with the mounting. The same are also available when the component is being updated. In addition, we have a method called should component update. This method will return a Boolean variable. If a component will never get updated during your lifecycle, um, then you can return a false from should component update to uh, inform your React's uh, rendering process that this component will never update, so you, you do, don't even need to consider this while you're re-rendering the DOM. Now, uh, normally we just in, ignore that uh, uh, point, but if you wish to, you can include that into certain components, but be clear that the component will never update once it is mounted. The render will be called every time the component is re-rendered. So every time you update the props of the state for the component, the render has to be called. And so the component is re-rendered. Similarly, you have access to a method called get snapshot before update. This may be needed in situations, for example, when you are scrolling, you have a scroll bar in a component and you're scrolling and you want to remember the position of the scroll at that point so that when the component re-renders, then you will retain that uh, scrolling position, then that would be useful for saving the information. Now, the other method that we will see is the component did update method. This method, as you would expect, is invoked when the component um, uh, is updated. So let's go back to our application and then examine a couple of these. We'll look at the use of the render and the component did update. Now we will go into the dish detail component and then configure that to, to check to see how these methods are being invoked. Also, this is a good stage for me to remind you that there are two methods that were associated with the updating of a component that were used earlier called component will receive props and component will update. These two methods have been deprecated uh, starting with uh, React version 16.3. And so you are discouraged from using these anymore in your React application. Now going to my application in the menu component, let me copy this component did mount from the menu component and then I will paste it into the dish detail component here so that we'll see that the component did mount for dish detail components uh, will be uh, invoked at that point. Now, in addition, since the dish detail component doesn't have a constructor, and actually we don't need it, so that's why I don't have the constructor method. Now, in addition to the component did mount, we will also invoke the component did update method in the dish detail component. And then in here, I will log this dish detail component component did 
update invoked and then we will also include this into the render uh, method of our dish detail component so dish detail component render invoked let's save the changes and then go and take a look at our application and see the changes in the javascript console going to our uh, browser where our application is rendered you can see that in the javascript console you see the menu component constructor invoked the menu component render invoked and then the dish detail component render invoked and the menu components component did mount invoked and then the dish detail components component did mount invoked so they are call in that order now you are wondering why the menu components component did mount was called after the dish detail component render was invoked this was invoked because in the menu components render method we had in included the dish detail component into the menu components render method so the dish detail component has to be created and then its render method has to be invoked and then at that point the menu component gets uh, uh, finished finishes mounting into the dom so that's where you see the sequence of methods being invoked. Now, let's click on one of the items in the menu. So when I click on that item in the menu, you would see that that particular item is um, rendered at the bottom here. And then at the point, again, look at the sequence of um, um, the invocations of the methods. So, so you see that the menu component render is invoked because you now changed what is in the menu component so it's render invoked the dish detail component was render invoked and notice that the dish detail components component did update method got invoked here so uh, that's the reason because earlier the dish detail component was attached but the dish detail component was not rendering anything it was rendering an empty div earlier but when we selected a dish that selected dish gets uh, uh, rendered into the view there so that's why uh, you see that the menu component is invoked again and the dish detail component. One more time, let me click on another item and then you would see that the sequence is still maintained. The menu components render is invoked, the dish detail components render is invoked and the dish detail components component did update is invoked here. So that demonstrates to you how the lifecycle methods in both the mounting phase and in the updating phase are invoked for your components. Now, uh, although we had made changes to these, I can you can easily delete all those console logs from your um, from your uh, uh, files. You don't need to save those console logs. Those were meant just to illustrate to you how the lifecycle methods are actually invoked. <laughs>